Let's talk about the seven things that can pull you out of a depression. Now, there's a link between something called BDNF, that stands for Brain Derived Neurotrophic Factor, and depression. They found that there's no chemical uh, in your body or blood test or whatever that can diagnose depression. Okay, there's no way to diagnose that. But they actually found that people that are depressed have low levels of this BDNF. So I'm going to talk about it in this video and talk about how you can enhance it. Because all the clinical trials that they try to inject this BDNF into the central nervous system have failed. The question is, how can we enhance it? I'm going to show you seven different ways. But let's first talk about what is BDNF. It is basically fertilizer for the brain. Okay? It helps uh, nerve growth. It helps nerve uh, differentiation. So it helps to differentiate what these uh, stem cells or like pre-nerve cells turn into. Also, BDNF helps support the maintenance of the synapses between the nerves. And so BDNF actually works in the synapse, which is kind of like the space between the two nerves. So as they communicate, they have a space to actually go back and forth. So the BDNF a message is sent and it gets received. So the other part of the nerve can then receive that communication and do what it's supposed to. So BDNF really helps the brain in many different ways. It helps uh, improve your learning. It helps your memory. It helps higher thinking. It helps you think more clearly. It helps you become more mentally alert. It decreases inflammation in the brain. And it also helps the absorption of neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin, things that have a direct effect on your mood. All right, so let's talk about the seven things that you can do to increase this BDNF. Number one, deep sleep, okay? Researchers found that um, sleep deprivation reduces BDNF. So you need at least seven hours of sleep. And more importantly, you need quality sleep. Recently, I'm doing an experiment on myself getting more sleep to see how I feel. So I'm trying to get nine hours of sleep, which is really, really hard. So... I think I'm close to it, but man, does that create an interesting effect on my body? I feel so much better when I get more sleep. So I literally have to force myself to be in bed because usually at 4.30, I'm like ready to go. So I have to kind of just wait for a while and then I fall back into sleep, go into a REM sleep, I wake up, I go back into a REM sleep and I do that like maybe three more times after 4.30. So sleep is very, very important. Uh, number two, exercise. Exercise is the fastest and most effective way to increase brain-derived neurotrophic factor. All right, next thing, sunlight, okay? Not just vitamin D, but getting more sun. Very, very therapeutic in increasing BDNF. All right, number four, intermittent fasting, as well as regular fasting, like periodic prolonged fasting. Very, very important. They found that the Alternative day fasting, where you're doing 600 calories every other day, can increase the BDNF by 400%. I think if you do every day fasting, about 18 hours, I think you're going to see a huge change in increasing BDNF. All right, next thing is low carb, keto. Okay, that can increase BDNF. And of course, number six really is keto, avoiding sugar. But the action of avoiding sugar directly can help you lose weight. And as someone loses weight, their BDNF increases. And the last thing you can do to increase your BDNF is start taking magnesium or eat foods that are high in magnesium, like larger amounts of vegetables, big salads. Because magnesium is a natural antidepressant, and magnesium is not just in greens, it's in pumpkin seeds too. It's pretty high in pumpkin seeds, so you might want to add those to your diet as well. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.